going on guys welcome back to another gta 5 modding tutorial today we are going to be covering the 2022 update for open iv script hook v script hook, uh, net native ui and then we'll be putting on the trainer menu but yeah let's go ahead and get right into it all of the links for the requirements are going to be down below along with the timestamp in case you just need a specific area but we're going to be starting from the very beginning with downloading open iv so let's go ahead and get into it. Alrighty, so once your OpenIV is downloaded, it's gonna look a little like this. We should already have our GTA 5 installed. Uh, mine is from Steam, and the reason why we're gonna need it already installed is because we're gonna be locating the GTA 5 main directory folder. So if you press the browse, it should bring up where your GTA 5 is located. Um, if it is not, we can open up Steam and head over to the GTA 5 folder. Go over here to properties local files and browse all right and when we click browse we should find the same path that we were just looking for over on our open iv so you see those match up so that is the correct folder and also says grant the photo 5 so select that folder and then you'll get a pop-up message so we can go ahead and continue don't forget to back up your files all that good stuff and now open iv will open it will locate your GTA 5. All right, and then once that opens, you can see that our latest update OpenIV is 4.1. So if you're watching this video and you previously had OpenIV installed, but you don't think you need it, you probably do because it just recently updated. So make sure you have that recent update. And then from here, now there's our GTA 5 in OpenIV. This is why we need to locate the game file. And then let's go ahead and close out this. Close out that. All right, so the first thing that we want to go ahead and do is head over to our ASI folder, or ASI manager, I'm sorry, in tools. Open that up, and you can go ahead and download these three. Uh, create a mods folder, yes. Uh, open camera install that so now our very first step is done we have a mods folder nothing is in it yet uh, we have our installers and then the next thing we need to do is add our x64 and update into our mods folder here so go ahead and locate your main directory of your gta 5 that you downloaded from steam so it's going to look like this folder here where we located the original file to even connect OpenIV to GTA. So go ahead and copy the x64 and the update, open up the mods folder and paste. And from there, you're gonna get an uploading screen and this should take a while, um, 20, 30 minutes maybe. Go ahead and let that finish, don't interrupt it. And then after that, we will be ready to add in our script to V and everything else all right now once that is done uploading you'll see that it is in our mods folder now x64 and update go back here we can close that out now and even in our open iv x64 and update are there so now we can move on to our script hook and script hook v.net so let's head back over to the web browser um, go ahead and click on the big download button if you're not just gonna to go to the um, description and check out the link. But I say that because if you click here, it will open up the latest release. Um, we go back to the website. Down here is the 2017 version. And along with the script of v.net, um, this is also 2019 version. So we will need to go and press download up here and not down here. But yeah, go ahead and come over to this website for script hook v and hit the download button here 
and then extract that and make a folder on your desktop. And also do the same thing with the script to v.net. Come over to this website. You'll see the latest releases here. And then go ahead, scroll down, and look at script v.net.zip, the first one with the cube. That is going to be your download. Once you have both of those downloaded, go ahead and open up your OpenIV and those two files. So now once we have both of those downloaded, extracted, and open on our desktop, go ahead and open up your OpenIV, hit edit mode right here, and we'll go over and do our script hook feed first. Uh, go ahead into the bin folder, make sure you read the readme in case you have not before. There's a lot of imp important information, patch notes in there. Go ahead and click on the bin. We're going to need the script hook V and the din put 8. Uh, this native trainer I do not use, that's also why I'm going to be putting in menu trainer at the end so we can also have a trainer. But go ahead and drag and drop those in there. Script hook V is in there, din put 8 is in there. We can go ahead and close that, open up the other one script hook v.net and we're gonna highlight all the files except license and readme then go ahead and do the exact same thing drag and drop there's two of them right there the rest are down here so now we see that has uploaded perfectly fine so now we'll go ahead and head back over to our release which is our native ui this is going to help our scripts and mods run inside the game um, go ahead and download this as well the link is in the description and go ahead and hit the release zip right here with the cube extract that and then go ahead and open that up as well we're going to take both of these files and we are going to come over here to our open iv create a new folder and in all lowercase we're going to put scripts so now we have a scripts folder and we're going to drag and drop the native ui both files into the scripts that's taken care of and now our very last step we'll go ahead and look at our menu and it's going to be menu pc um, also along with the latest files you need to click the download and come over here, latest download, and look for that nice cube again. Menu sp.zip, download that, extract it. Let's go back to OpenIV. There's our menu. And now we have a readme, a license, and then we have a menu stuff and a menu ASI. Grab the menu stuff, hold down control, you can grab and press down on the menu ASI. Drag and drop those into the main directory as well menu stuff asi menu stuff bam so now we have everything actually downloaded to get started with modding um, we have our script hook v script hook v.net native ui we have our scripts folder we have a mods folder we have all the requirements we need to officially launch gta 5 okay now that we're loaded into the game our default key for menu is f8 Let's click that twice, and we see that it is now popped open. All of our menu is there. We have a vehicle spawner. Weapons, give all weapons, max ammo. Uh, we even have some weather options in here.
that's going to be it for me in this video. I hope this helps you guys out with the new updates for 2022. Um, if you have any questions, if this doesn't help you, just let me know down in the comments. I'll be willing to help you. Um, yeah, make sure you turn on the notification bell. We'll be releasing a lot more videos, um, whether they're updates for mods or tutorials, but I believe we're going to be doing some series, so definitely be on the lookout for that. Yeah, appreciate you guys tuning in, I'll see you guys in the next video.